The latest on the closure of I-70 because of that massive rock slide. The road is closed during the day for repairs. That closure puts pressure on businesses who really rely on all the traffic. The road is only open at night from 4 o'clock in the evening until 9 in the morning. Drivers are rushing to get to travel I-70 during those hours to avoid the long detour during the day. We travel through the canyon with a pilot car leading crews around those road repairs to see the challenges the drivers and businesses are facing. Our Matt Kroschel is now back live tonight. Matt? Yeah, we're here on this side of the canyon, the uh, eastbound side of the canyon, but just on the other side in Glenwood Springs, a town that has been cut off for more than a week. The impacts of all these folks having to detour around their area are already being felt. As crews continue to clean up the rock slide zone, an entire town tries to get back to normal after being shut off for nearly a week. They took the long road home. Inside the grill at the Glenwood Hot Springs, workers cook breakfast just like normal, but the number of people showing up for their reservations this last week was down. People know that when you live in the mountains, things like this will happen, you know, so but you just learn to live with it. The director of the Glenwood Chamber of Commerce says they won't have real numbers for a month, but across the board, local businesses are reporting taking big revenue hits. But now that CDOT has allowed traffic to move through the canyon again overnight, business should be getting back to normal. And we're told that several large meetings and conferences scheduled for this weekend in Glenwood Springs are still a go. And that is very good news for those hotels and restaurants that rely on those tourist dollars coming into the area. We're live in Eagle County tonight. Matt Kroschel, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.